chicken or beef. Essentially, it all comes down to creativity. Music is the expression, the web is the broadcast medium. That's right, and unlike other artists, this guy is technologically fearless. He just might be one of the coolest 50-year-olds on the planet. So what we have on stage are two cameras, one fixed by the drum kit, one roaming around the stage, and one back here by the soundboard that is capturing the video. It's very similar to broadcast, where what we're doing tonight is we're capturing video and audio in real time, and we're encoding it in real time and sending it to the server in real time. So everything happens right there. I always worked in all mediums, so and, and I'm, all, I'm such a great fan of, of uh, how we interpret our culture. If we do it through art or if we do it through music, I'm, I'm a great fan of, the, of, of how other people do it. Well, David Bowie is really involved with the web and he wants to really have a presence on the web. And last year, where we released a single exclusively on the internet and had tremendous success, hundreds of thousands of people downloaded that. And um, so David Bowie actually came up with this event tonight when he said, you know, I want to bring this concert in Boston to the global music community. And we said, sure, let's do it. So you're taking photographs for tonight's event. You want to tell me a little bit about this camera? Sure. It's a digital camera that doesn't take any film at all. And there's a card that goes in here instead of film. And what I do is I shoot with it. And a runner is going to come pick it up and put it right into the computer and download the pictures in Photoshop and acquire them and size them correctly and send them FTP right through and they'll pop up on the web. Okay, so essentially we got all this stuff out here. We got the cameras, we got all the other stuff. Now let's go see where you guys are. Does this generally, they generally put you somewhere else? I mean... Well, we always try to get as close as we can, but in this case, we are all the way by the ladies' room. It's unusual that we actually take over ladies' toilets to actually do cybercast, but I think this is a definite first. It's one heck of a ladies' toilet, too, uh, isn't you it? You know, it's a boudoir. Back by the ladies' room. Come on. I feel like I'm on cops. Mm. Who are you? What do you do? Jamie Horn. I work for Live Online and Envision Productions. Okay, and what do we... Tell us a little bit about what we're seeing here. Basically, what you're seeing here is we got, we got three cameras running this. Camera one, camera two, and camera three. And we are... They, these guys are actually taking our feed from all three cameras and distributing it to everybody. What they're going to be seeing is what we have in this window, which is an encoded approximately one and a half to two and a half frames a second, depending on how clean their connection is. We're here with Reeves Gabrels to talk about uh, the show and uh, songwriting and guitar playing. I'd like to introduce you to uh, the band. On lead guitar, Reeves Cabrales. It's cool to go to uh, like Teenage Wildlife or one of the one of the fan pages to see what the reaction is if you try something new. The fact that so many people, you know, especially on more electronic music stuff, so many people are on the web and you can talk to them about stuff. That that's really uh, that's handy when when you've already gotten something right. and you're going, why isn't this working? It's funny because my mom uh, keeps tracks me. Because oh, yeah. every, every night we do a show, she goes and she checks the pages and she knows what's going on. Yeah. So it's, you know, it's, uh, it's saved, saved on phone calls. He's working on encoding the signal in 28.8 and 56K in the Netshow format and sending it out using a BitServer Pro to the server in Vancouver, where the Netshow is being served from. How do you feel? you nervous at all? A uh, little bit. Just... I saw a deep breath there kind of wondering about the power situation, but other than that, we're fine. I understand if they turn on the pretzel machine, you guys are toast. Yeah, so hopefully people won't be too upset that we don't have pretzels tonight. Lots of people have, have, have wondered or questioned why David is involved in multimedia, and it seems like, why wouldn't he be? Uh, he's in, been involved in every other form of media whatsoever, and has always consistently managed to find new ground and new territory. Um, technology is all very well, but it needs artists to actually motivate it and galvanize it and actually use it in unpredictable and surprising ways. And I think David is hopefully going to be at the vanguard of that. Time to go to work. Thank you very much. We're, we'll watch from back here.
If you missed the David Bowie Cybercast or you want more information about anything else you've seen on our show, just go to GetWild.com. Where you'll find updates and links to past and future Cybercasts, including Depeche Mode, Counting Crows, and special guest on our show next week, Taj Mahal. Not the seventh wonder of the world in India. Right, the blues legend.